The movie begins and we are shown the time of 1996. A man was running along the shore of the sea. That's when he gets a game board there. Now he brings the game to his house. That man brought the game and gave it to his son. Now when his son sees that game, he gets a feeling of Ludo. That's why he put it aside. At night, the sound of that game started coming. When that man's son opens the game board, he gets a video cassette from it. Now as soon as that boy starts playing the game by putting the cassette of that video, we see that a lot of light comes out of it. And that boy went into that video game forever. Now the story takes us 20 years ahead. That is, in 2017, we see a boy, Spencer, who was playing a video game. That's when he gets a message from his friend that he did his homework or not. Actually, his friend used to force Spencer to do his homework. Spencer quickly left the video game and completed his friend's homework. He was very scared of his friend. That's why he quickly completed his homework and was about to leave. Spencer's friend had called him to freak house. Then we see a girl who was very fond of social media. She used to post her pictures on social media all the time. This girl's name is Bethany. There Spencer had reached freak house with his friend's homework. Freak house was actually the boy his house which had disappeared in the beginning of the story because of the game and his house was now very drowny that's why everyone knew him as freak house now we see another character in the story whose name was martha she had a fight with her gym teacher so that's why her teacher punished her on the other hand the teachers of Spencer and his friend also find out that Spencer has done his friend's homework they are also punished Bethany was talking on the video call sitting in the class. So that's why her teacher also kicks her out of the class. Now these four are sent to the school basement. Their punishment was that they had to open the stapler spin of the old papers. These four did not want to spend the whole day here. That's why they get the same video game from there. Maybe that man gave the video game to the school after his son's disappearance. These four connect that game to the screen. Spencer and his friends started playing the game. They all also call Bethany and Martha. Now when these four were playing that game, the game suddenly stops. The game was closed, but now these four start going to that game one by one. They had reached the jungle. Before playing the game, they had changed into the characters they had chosen. They all had their own qualities, which we will find out later. When the four look at each other, they are surprised because everything had changed. Spencer, who was a thin, thin boy, says to everyone, I am Spencer. Martha, who was a simple girl, had now become a brave girl. Bethany, who was very fond of fashion and social media, now turns into a fat professor. Spencer's friend, who was quite tall, had now become a small-sized biologist. They were all very surprised to see each other. When Bethany goes to the water to see herself, a very big animal came to her and was about to eat her. He eats Bethany, but after a while, she falls down from the sky again. Now these four see three black lines on their hands, so they know that they have joined the game. They have three lifelines, that is, three chances that they can save their lives. Then the animals attack them again. Just like that animal ate Bethany, she came back to life. So now she had two lifelines left. These four run a lot to escape that animal. Then a man comes there with a car. He took them with him. He now tells them about the Jumanji game which is also the name of this movie. He welcomes these four in this Jumanji game and now tells them about the game. He says that in this game too, there is a villain like every game, who had taken out a diamond from the statue of Jaguar Cheetah in the jungle. After that, the whole jungle was cursed and all the animals in the jungle also started obeying him. He had obtained all the powers from the diamond. Then he gives the diamond to Spencer and says that I have stolen this diamond from that villain. You will have to go and keep this diamond back in the same place. And before finishing the game, you will be able to finish this game. And now he gives a map and leaves from there. In which it was written, the way ahead. When they see the map, it was empty. Bethany says, are you crazy? Everything is written in it. Here we know about Bethany that she had become very smart. She knew how to read the map. She says that a part of this map is missing. Now we are in the middle of the mountains and we are walking on the right path. Then Spencer's hand touches his arm and a screen opens on which everyone's strength and weakness were written. It was written about Spencer that he is very strong and can run very fast. His weakness was nothing. Spencer's friend, when he finds out about himself, 
he finds out, he says that I am a biologist, I can talk to animals, and I also know about all these animals, and his weakness was cake, if he eats cake, he will die, Martha, who was a fighter dancer, Bethany knew how to read the map, now all of them understood that these people are in the Jumanji game, and now they will have to play this game, then the bikers attack all four of them, they were shooting at them, in this game, everyone helps each other, when a biker was going to kill Bethany, then Martha comes there and competes with that biker, and kills him with her fight, Spencer's friend, who was not able to run, Spencer picks him up on his shoulders and starts running, now all four of them had reached a waterfall while escaping from those people, they had no other way but to jump, then Martha finds out that she has been shot, she also dies, but after a while she falls from the sky, this means that her life was also over, here Spencer's friend starts fighting him, he says that neither would you have played this game nor would we have been in this trouble today, Spencer says, don't talk nonsense, I didn't play this game alone, Spencer's friend, who always ordered him and scared him, was still doing the same, and during this fight, he pushes Spencer, due to which Spencer falls into a pit, but he came back to life, his life was also over, when Spencer comes back, they say to each other, we will never be able to get out of this game, we have to play this game well instead of fighting, according to these four maps, they had reached a market where Spencer's friend accidentally eats a cake because he was hungry, and because of this, he dies. But after a while he came back to life. As we all know, everyone has three chances of life. There is a child in front of him in the market who brought him to a place and says, Welcome to the Jumanji. Now he brought him near the room and says, If you blink, he will kill you, he had to solve this puzzle, when they go to the room where there was a very big snake in a box, when Spencer opens it, he now finds out that he has to mix his eyes with the snake, Bethany says, I can do that, which had now turned into a professor, but when she sits in front of the snake, she gets scared, that snake then attacks Martha, but Spencer had caught the snake's mouth, they take out a piece of paper from the box, they find a small elephant in that paper, it also said that as soon as you see the elephant, then start walking, but they all think that this can't be half of their map, then the men of the game villain come here who attack them, now he himself had come in front of them, and he says to Spencer, give me back my diamond, but then a boy saved him here and took him away, who was no one else but the same boy who had gone to the game at the beginning of the story, who was lost 20 years ago, his name is Alex, he had smoked in front of the people of the villain and saved them and brought them to a cave, now when they go inside that cave, they get to see a lot there, first a white blade comes in front of them, then a pit of water in which there were very big crocodiles, they had somehow come out of there, now Alex tells them about himself that I was trapped in this game 20 years ago and could not come out, there the villain was very angry because he had not yet found his diamond, here Alex had brought these four to his house and tells that I have been living here for 20 years, I only have one lifeline left, I can't put my life in danger, now they understand here that the half of the map they were looking for, he is no one else but this boy Alec, they had to find him in the game, they were all very happy, they had found Alec, the next level of the game is a transportation shed, if we cross it, then we will be able to reach the mountain where we have to put the diamond, when they go to that place, two guards were guarding there, they could not go in front of them because they had to save their lifeline and neither did they have any weapon, so they all decide to send Martha in front of these guards who will distract them, because the girl was only Martha between them, now Martha has gone to the guards but she acts like crazy, she doesn't know how to act properly, then the guards set fire to the song, as we know that Martha was a fighter dancer, as soon as she hears the song, she attacks the guards, she was killing both of them with a lot of fun, then on the way back, they go to that shed, they had to take one thing from here, all this was the idea of Huo Jin Yuro Lian hacking the helicopter, so they go to that shed, all this was the idea of Huo Jin Yuro Lian hacking the helicopter, Alex is asked to drive the helicopter because no one else knew how to drive a helicopter, but he clearly refuses, no, no, I can't drive it because I have only one life left and I can't take such a big risk with my life, but at the behest of Spencer, 
Alex drives the helicopter. Then the people of the villain came behind them. Alex was flying the helicopter and was taking it from the middle of the mountains. Then fat horses follow them and go to the hill. Gino had damaged their helicopter's fan. Now Spencer goes up and somehow he fixed the fan. Alex, who was flying the helicopter, when he flies it and takes it up, now Spencer's friend remembers that the diamond has fallen from his bag. The question now was who would go to take it because there were very big animals around the diamond. Then Spencer pushes his friend. All the big animals follow his friend. Spencer came from behind and picked up the diamond. Alex also saves him, but Spencer's friend was killed by those animals. When he comes back to life and falls from the sky, Alex reverses the helicopter, and then Spencer held his friend's hand and saved him. They had reached the mountain and are very happy. Then a mosquito bites Alex. He becomes unconscious. No one wanted him to leave Alex. Then Bethany gives her lifeline to Alex. Alex was alive, but Bethany's life was short. They reached the place where the mosquito statue was. They had come here, but they think that not everything can be as easy as we think. Spencer says to them, I will go this way first. But when he goes a little further, many animals attack him. When he comes back to life, he tells his friends that the road is very dangerous. We can't walk on the same road. I have an idea. We have to walk on different roads. When they were walking on different roads, Spencer's friend found a very big elephant. The villain caught Bethany there. He tells Spencer, Give me the diamond you have or I will kill him here. Then Spencer's friend comes from behind. The one who had the diamond was sitting on top of the big elephant. Many cheetahs attack him here. The diamond fell from his hand and fell upwards. The villain also leaves Bethany. Martha tells Spencer here, you go up, I'll get you the diamond. Now Spencer takes a bike. He had started climbing the mountain. His riding was great. He does not stop his bike and was just climbing. Martha, who had gone to get the diamond, sees that the diamond is lying on the ground. The villain had also come there. Here Martha deliberately puts her foot on a snake. The snake had bitten her. When she comes back with her new life, she gives the diamond to Spencer flying in the air. Spencer had put the diamond in the cheetah statue but nothing happens here. Then everyone remembers that this game had to be finished by taking the name of Jumanji, and now everyone started shouting Jumanji one after the other. After that, the curse of that forest was over. Then Jumanji becomes green again. The villain of the game had also disappeared. After that, the same man comes to those five who had met him at the beginning of the game. He says, thank you, you have made our Jumanji forest green again. Then he starts shaking hands with everyone one by one, from which everyone had returned to their world. Then they all return to the same basement room in their own real form from where they started playing the game. But they see that Alex was not there. When they go to find him, Alex's house was a freak house. It was very beautifully decorated. Alex comes and says hello to him. Bethany also says hello. Alex tells them that the game has sent me in the same timeline when I disappeared, that is, I have come back in my own time. I am Mary. I have named my daughter Bethany. In the game, a girl named Bethany saved my life. Now they become good friends. Spencer's friend broke the game. That is, he killed Jumanji. And with this, the story of this film ends here.